What is going on guys? Welcome back to the DS Asylum. I'm your Order the Michi Shrine and today we are going in to the new Jubilee Catalyst, I think 35 against Veldora with the well, my version of the Overlord team. So, this is not a type of video that you're going to watch if you are struggling to find a decent set of units to use in this Jubilee. No, this if if you're looking for you know, a tutorial style video or what to use style video. Just wait a few days for Joker to upload his 18 Jubilee videos and you'll get what you need out of those. This one is just showing what I was able to do with the team I went in with, which as you can see is pretty similar to what I was doing the beatdown battles with. And the strategy for this Jubilee is more or less the same as the beatdown battles, just Instead of hyper focusing on my skill points, the amount of skill points I have, I am trying to use as many skills as possible throughout the entire fight. Um, you'll notice that the strategy of using Mirai every single turn is still pretty much the ideal setup that I want to go with. Um, took me a few turns or a few tries to get a good uh, second hand, but once I got that, we were able to get Mirai going. Once you get Mirai going, you get the future hands of greens, then you get your live mode, then you get your ult swap and your protection gauge and all that. And then because we're constantly uh, activating Rimuru over and over and over again, and the whole point is to do as much damage as possible, we're also, as we go into the turn eight, as we get deeper into the, uh, the battle, the boss battle, uh, that's what I was thinking of, as we get deeper into the boss battle, uh, we are going to try and start utilizing Ayn's magic and crit buff, as well as the weakness strike, and even using Dark Milam's uh, dark attack buff for Ayn's as well. This isn't the most optimal version of this run. I'd, I would have liked to have had more Ayn's orbs, especially on the nuking turn. Turn 8, I don't think we have any Ayn's orbs other than his ult on turn 8, which sucks. The strategy is fairly straightforward, and it's... Again, more or less what I was doing for the beatdown battles, just with a few extra steps. And it's a decent enough score for what I've got. I don't have the highest level units. I don't have the full meta. My bench units are not the greatest. I'm not, like, uh, my team has decent, has really good equips. Like, all, pretty, almost maxed out on everybody, but, you know, I'm, I, I certainly have improvements that could be made even to this very setup. So if you just have slightly better equips or you have more dupes in your units or you know what have you, you're gonna get a higher score than me with the same team. And if you actually just have better units, then you'll get a higher score than me. If you have Shizuka, basically. If you have Shizuka instead of Mirai, you'll get a much better score than me on, uh, <laughs> on this Jubilee. Uh, I, I get the feeling that the majority of the top placements in this Jubilee will be due to Shizuka because Shizuka is just broken for this meta for some weird reason. It's, don't don't ask me, but I am curious as to what you guys have been using to clear your Jubilee stages. Um, maybe if there's a setup that you've used that you want me to try out, I'll go ahead and give it a try. Maybe I'll make a video trying out a bunch of people's teams if I have the units for them. Um, and if I do, they're probably all at level 80, so if they're five stars, so it'll probably be interesting to see if my even lower level team than yours probably can still get a decent enough score. <laughs> so let me know what types of teams you guys are rocking. And that is going to be just about it for this video. Pretty short, as I said, there's not much to it. I just wanted to showcase what I got with my Jubilee team, invite you to show me what you got, and to, you know, also tell people, hello, also tell people, don't stress out about Jubilee, honestly. Like, yes, Jubilee is pretty much the only consistent source of crystals in the entire game, which is a really big deal when you say it out loud, but at the same time, it's not overly difficult to get a decent enough score in Jubilee, you don't need to be in the top 0.1%. You don't. If you're in the top 5%, you'll be fine. And honestly, that's not hard to do. If you can beat the boss battle, you'll probably be in the top 5%. Genuinely. 
If you, if you are able to defeat both boss battles, you will be in the top five. Hell, I actually haven't even done the first boss battle yet. I've only done the second one. <laughs> like, if, if, you, if you can just complete the first boss battle at all, you'll place fairly well. If you can get over a million damage, you're in the top 5%. If you can get, like, half a million, you're in the top, like, 10%. Which is still plenty of crystals, honestly. Plenty of resources. Don't stress out about Jubilee. Those 50 crystals that you get from gaining like 40 times the damage, honestly, isn't even worth it. Like, the difference between my score and what someone like Joker or Nature is gonna have is going to be massive. Once this Jubilee ends, however, the amount of resources they'll get for their score that is dozens of times what mine is will be. What, they'll get like 50 more crystals than I will? Because I'm gonna make sure that I stay around where I am now. So... <laughs> it's... Like I said, don't worry about it. The rewards, once you get that high up, aren't even worth going for anyway, so... Admittedly, 50 crystals can make the difference between a multi or not, but... 50 crystals also isn't the hardest thing to get, so... Like I said, don't worry about it. Do, just try and have some fun. Do what you want to do. Use the teams you want to use. Try and get some damage in. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Do all that junk. I'm not going through my whole outro this time. And um, if the match isn't already done, then I guess uh, you can keep watching it. Peace. <laughs> Oh, I'm not sure.